Hi, my name is Lowell Joseph Gallen, and I'm here in Jerusalem, Israel, with our guest for today's interview. This is Idan Raveh. Idan Shalom. And we are filming our Love Israel with Laura and Lowell interview series while I am on assignment here in the Land of Promise for the new Laura and Lowell show which I established in New York City a few weeks ago with my partner, co-host, Laura Ledbetter. And we're going to be talking with Idan about his band. Let's see, how do you pronounce it? Marsh Dondorma. This is their CD. And Idan is the father of one of the children who was in my wife's nursery school, Gan Racheli. Rachel's Nursery School, and yesterday the academic year for eight month to two year olds concluded. So Sarah was taken home. That was her last time with us. So I'm here with Idan in his home in Jerusalem. Idan, could you tell us a little bit about our band and also your t shirt over here, which has the symbol of your band? Well, the band. <clears throat> Actually, it's, it was originated in New York. I think the seeds were there because uh, the person who, the drummer who uh, formed the band, uh, came back from a few weeks in New York where he met a similar band. They, they're called the Hungry March Band. And they're based in New York and they're like 25 or 30 people with dancers and players and they got the whole shabam. Um, he was really impressed with that. He jammed with them a little. He came back to Jerusalem. It was a time of intifada. Um, there was not, it was not always, the streets weren't full of people having fun. It was a little different. And he wanted to bring music to the streets. He wanted to have a band that does not need any cables or any amplifiers. They can just walk out and play. And that's a tradition that exists in all kinds of places, a lot in Eastern Europe. In our context, Kleismerim, in um, New Orleans context, it's the second line in the brass bands, and you know they have them in different. It has a, a wide tradition, but he has brought it to Jerusalem, and a friend brought a friend, and we formed a 15-member group called Malsh Dondoma. Uh, the T-shirt came a few years later. Could you uh, sort of? Display it a little bit more and yeah, show the I people can, what the symbols I mean. Show, well, I see a fork and a hammer. Yeah, actually, it's. Uh, I wouldn't say that this has. You know, it's full of uh, meaning. It's. Um, it's more of one of the trumpet player. I'm a trumpet player, and one of the the other trumpet players um, studied. Uh, how do you say itzuv? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I should know, but my he was not that good. Uh, he studied designing Design. in, okay. uh, in Betzalel, and he actually he did the cover for this CD, for instance. Um, I think we need to do yeah, this. Yes, you're right. Okay. What's his name? The designer? Ellie. Ellie, Ellie. Preminger. Yes. Ellie Preminger. Yeah. And Related I, to Otto Preminger in any way? I'm sure he is. Okay. <laughs> um, and a very interesting man and, you know, a good friend. We just came back from playing together. So he designed also this t-shirt. It's um, it's kind of something, part of a logo that he did for one of our uh, tours or our shows. And then we liked it and we put it on. It has something very... I, I like the spirit of it. You know, it's somewhere between what we do and simple um, house tools. And, you know, it's... But it's, it's also the colors of Ikea. You know, that um, monstrous uh, furniture shop. So yeah. once I was there with this shirt. And At Ikea. Yeah. And here in Israel. Yeah. And I've, you know, I've been asked to show people around and where can I find this. And so, and also, you know, this, this is really similar to what they do there. So. You're a 15 member band. Uh, how many men, how many women do you have in the band? Two women. Two ladies. And everybody plays <clears throat> what kind of instruments? Well, the instruments are, we have four drummers, we have three trumpet players, five saxophones, 
two trombones and a giant sousaphone, which is sort of a tuba that you kind of wear around your body. It's right. Like, it's like the marching tuba. Right. He's the bassist. Um, that's about the instruments that play. The saxophones vary. There are four different saxophones, like alto, soprano, tenor, baritone. Um, and the music we play, I think, is the most interesting about that, because w there are groups that are similar in, in, the, in the instruments they use. <clears throat> we started out by playing all kinds of uh, some gypsy tunes, which are called chochik. They're like folk tunes from Serbia, um, Bulgaria, all the Balkans. Um, we went on to some Dixieland and touching jazz from all kinds of aspects, but not really straight ahead jazz. Um, we also played some Latin stuff and we wrote a lot of original pieces um, by five or six composers in, in the group. Who plays the trombone? The trombone has um, the first lady of trombone, Luisa. Okay. And um, one of the two ladies in the group. Yeah, you mentioned there's two. Yeah, yeah. The second is a drummer. The first is a trombone player. And the second, he's actually new. He switched a uh, former trombone player. His name is, uh, well, he, his nickname is Milo. So you have two trombone players. Yeah. Okay. Here's a historical footnote. You want to watch The Music Man, and remember 76 trombones led the big parade, and the only person who could only and forever be the music man in my book is Robert Preston. So go do your homework to know that once there were truly greats of Broadway when it was truly great, Robert Preston from The Music Man. <laughs> Okay, so we're on trombones. Let's go back to Idan's band. You play around Israel, you play abroad. What kind of places do you get invited to? Ooh, uh, we play around Israel in all kinds of circumstances. We play festivals, we play a lot in Purim and Independence Day and happy um, uh, occasions. We get to play at weddings sometimes, we play um, parties, and we also have our own um, uh, shows that we set in different places, and we sell tickets, and people who want to hear are coming here. Uh, we do that in the Yellow Submarine in Jerusalem, we do that in Teatron Tmuna in Tel Aviv or Barbie, and also north until uh, Be'er Sheva. We get to all kinds of places, trying to bring our music to the people and when we play to the people on those stages it's mostly our original stuff when we come to festivals or parties we try to bring out the most of energy we have in our repertoire that's in Israel <coughs> and um, you were recently in Eilat right? for well, your band was flown down to Eilat that for was, yeah, that a was, gig that was a different group Oh, okay, that was a different group. group. But we See. were recently in Krakow, uh, in a big festival of uh, Jewish culture. Um, that was a great surprise and a wonderful invitation. It was an amazing festival. A festival of Jewish culture where most of the audience was non-Jewish, if I I'm think, not mistaken. I think a lot of them were non-Jewish. There were also Jewish people also from Poland and also from who come from abroad every year to, to those uh, week and a half of a festival and a lot of great artists, also from Israel and also from abroad, New York based, um, but all somehow into the Klezmer, Arabic, Jewish, uh, Middle Eastern uh, thing happening. So all those, um, all those influences came in together. But our first journey was to a place called Gucha, that's in Serbia. It's a small village. It has a once a year um, big festival of gypsy brass bands. Your first gig abroad was to Gucha in Serbia? Yeah, but we took ourselves. We, you know, we took out our wallets and said we're gonna go and check this thing out because it was very famous and we were trying to do some of the music that they, that, that's originated there. All the greatest um, 
people, composers, musicians get there. I don't know if you know um, Goran Bregovic. Uh, I don't. And as the Talmud says, another footnote, he who is ashamed will not learn. So it's okay to say, I don't know. So I don't know. Tell us so, about him. So you, we, we had one uh, film um, reference from you. And the other is about Emil Kosturica. He's a um, famous uh, director. His, uh, his movies are a lot about gypsies. He had Black Cat, White Cat. He had The Time of the Gypsies. He had Underground Chochek. He had a lot of movies um, based there in Eastern Europe and very, um, very about, you know, about the simple life and about the gypsies. And the music is always fascinating there. And his composer is Goran Bregovic, and he made a lot of those tunes famous, and it's a pleasure to meet and hear him. So we did that the first time we went, and since then we've been invited to the Montreal Jazz Festival, to a festival in Croatia. We were in St. Petersburg in Moscow, we were in China. We, um, we try to gather the whole group and whenever we're invited we try to make it. Wow, that's really great. I'm really glad to hear how your group is flourishing. And again, here's Idan's CD. Let's hold it real well, close so you can this, see it. This CD we want you to first. buy it. This the CD first. Is the first. We have three out and we're recording our next this Sunday. Okay, that's terrific. So Idan, thank you very much for this interview thank you for and having. thanks to our viewers for watching and listening.